Alright, so this video will go through how to mark your angle. So here I have a 45-45-90 triangle. In other words, it's one of my special right triangles. And I want to mark those angles. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my icons and I'm going to choose mark angle. So remember when I make my angles, I'm going to measure it counterclockwise. So I want to think about how do I go backwards. So here when I measure it, I'm going backwards, thinking about like going from like 3 to 12 o'clock. If I do it incorrectly, it's okay. I just need to go back and, and swap which way I click on my points. But I click the three points that make the angle, the vertex being the second one. And you can see here it makes the angle and even marks it as right. But it has that angle measure in there as well, which I don't want the angle measure. So I'm going to right click on it and I go into settings. Now in the settings, if I look over here, I've got a couple options. I've got this show label option so I can always do that and there goes that measure. Another thing to pay attention to is say you do get that exterior angle and you're struggling with the idea of how to do it correctly. Once you have the angle clicked, you can always change it so that it always measures the 0 to 180 degrees and then it will always make the interior angle. But sometimes it's nice to have that exterior angle so I don't recommend always doing that. Um, now there's only one 90 degree angle in the triangle, so there's no reason to change that. So let's go and do the other angles. So I'm going to click again. And I can see here it's made the label. And it automatically puts an angle symbol up there. Uh, so we're going to remove the angle label here in just a second. Let's go in and measure the other one and get that out of the way. So I don't start clicking on all sorts of things. Uh, so now I'm going to change back to my move tool. makes it a little bit easier to do everything. So I'm going to click on this angle. Again, I want to change that show label to get it out of here. I'm going to click on this angle and change the show label. Now in this case, these two angles are congruent. So this marking is accurate. But say that you get one where there's either multiple angles, you're dealing with a different shape, or that these angles are not congruent. It would still be marked this way. So you have to be able to change the markings. So you make sure that you're on the angle, and what I would do is I go to Style in my settings, and the last thing down here is the decoration. And in the decoration, I can change it, uh, how many of those tick marks are there to show me whether or not to mark those different angles. So here, maybe I want to make both of them with a decoration of two tick marks just to verify that they are definitely congruent. So in GeoGebra, they mark the angle so you know what angle they're talking about, but they don't differentiate uh, between congruent angles and non-congruent angles when they make that marking. You have to do that manually, so this is the way that you do it. 